Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week, I talked about faithfulness and how it can benefit our lives and the lives of those around us. Please go back and listen to episode 32 if you haven't already done so. I promise you it will be worth your time. Today, I want to talk about goodness. Goodness is defined as the quality of being morally good or virtuous. Goodness is essentially seeking the benefit of others. It's when our thoughts and our actions come from a place of selflessness and when we place the needs of others before our own. A good example of practicing goodness is what is popularly called a pass it on challenge where you do something unselfish or kind for someone and you then ask them to do the same for someone else. It is a each one reach one kind of thing. Many people participate in pass it on challenges anonymously with no expectation of receiving recognition or anything in return. Because goodness is not expressed so the world can see what you're doing for others. You shouldn't do things for others expecting a reward. The Bible says when you do good deeds so others can see what you're doing or to shine a light on yourself, you will not get any reward beyond what men can offer you. Plaques, accolades, admiration, that type of thing. This scripture is saying that God will not honor or bless what you are doing due to your intention to be seen doing it. Again, Practicing goodness is not about you. It is about other people, so be sure to check your motive when helping or blessing others. I'm sure you can think of examples other than the Pass It On Challenge I mentioned earlier, where you have seen, you've witnessed, or you've personally experienced the practice of goodness. I certainly can. I I'm thinking of a time last year when I was standing in a store checkout line and noticed that a woman was struggling to pay for her groceries as her card kept getting declined. While she was trying to remedy the problem, a man in front of me stepped out of line and he paid for her groceries. He didn't ask for the amount of her bill and he refused the lady's offer to exchange information so that she could pay him back. I was almost moved to tears to see the goodness in humanity expressed in that moment. That scenario blessed me also because it was a white man helping a black woman. With all the racial tension going on in America right now, it was really refreshing to see people treat each other according to their humanity and their need, not the color of their skin or preconceived notions. Another example of goodness I experienced was when I was part of a caravan of cars going somewhere and we had to go through a toll booth. This is when they still had people in the booth, you know, collecting your money. When my turn arrived, I was informed that the car in front of me had already paid my toll. There are so many examples I could share, but I will stop here. The best part of both stories is no one got their camera out for a selfie to capture the moment or called for the news to shine a spotlight on their good deed. Social media in particular has really tempted people to let the world know every single move we make. But we can choose to lay down our cameras. We can choose to turn our microphones off when we're doing good deeds for others. Some call it moving in silence. Another way we see or hear about goodness expressed often is during the Christmas season when people regularly, you know, pay for people's groceries or give huge tips to waitresses or buy toys for families with kids that are in financial need. One of the reasons Christmas is my favorite time of the year is because so many willingly put their needs aside and they think of and do for others. That time of year shows that people are in fact capable of practicing goodness and selflessness, but unfortunately, you know, people often go back to self-centeredness once the holiday season is over. Instead of waiting for a special occasion or a holiday to practice goodness, we should practice and express it year-round and with every opportunity we are given to do so. You can start by asking yourself every day, how can I be a blessing to someone today? If you have that consciousness throughout the day, you will pay attention. You'll recognize and you'll seize opportunities to do something for someone else every single day. Sometimes the act may be as small as offering a smile when you greet someone or 
buying someone coffee or listening to someone intently who really needs to talk without glancing at your phone or being distracted, giving that person your full attention and letting them know that you care. The point I'm trying to make is everyone can practice goodness on a daily basis. It doesn't require money, status, fame, any special ability or talent. It just requires caring for people and having a heart to help others in any way you can. Each one, reach one. When practicing goodness, be sure to do it with a pure heart and the right intention. Don't get caught up in looking good on the outside, but being rotten or messed up on the inside. I'm sure we have all eaten a piece of fruit like, you know, an apple that looked good outside, but was spoiled on the inside. Consuming fruit is most enjoyable when the condition of the inside matches the ripe appearance of the outside. Goodness shouldn't just be about what we do. It should be an expression of who we are. There's a scripture that says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. Based on that scripture, I call goodness and mercy my bodyguards. Practicing goodness will safeguard you against selfishness, conceit, and being boastful or egotistical. Goodness is also a fruit of the Spirit, which is one of nine qualities that should be evident in the lives of followers of Jesus Christ. One of the goals of every Christian is at the end of their life, when they face Jesus and have to give an account for the life they've lived on this earth, is to hear Jesus say, according to Scripture, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Because we believe that God, who is always good, gives us his goodness and his ability to do good for and to others. There's a scripture that says, For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. There's another scripture that says we overcome evil with good. Martin Luther King has said, The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. Uh, there's a quote by John Wesley that says, Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. So in closing, I admonish you to do one good thing, or what I call God thing, each day. Don't practice good deeds or goodness to be seen or rewarded. Make sure that your motives and your heart are pure so the fruit of your work won't be rotten or spoiled. I promise you, having a perspective of goodness and practicing it every single day with a pure heart will not just change the lives of others, but it will change your life for the better as well. The Bible says we should not be tired of doing what is good because at the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.